The Nintendo Switch, everyone's favorite thing. The Nintendo Switch sure is a console, and a pretty good one at that, but contrary to popular belief, it is far from perfect. People in 2017 would be starting a mob if they heard anybody say that back then. I feel like the Nintendo Switch has a much worse reputation than it did when it first released. I can't really blame people, it did save Nintendo as they would have gone bankrupt if they had another failed console, but people thought it was a gift from heaven when it was first released. And to be fair, at the time, these were crazy graphics for a handheld at the time. With over six years since release, it's not hard to see why so many people are begging for a new one. The design shows its age and the controllers aren't great, and it's painfully underpowered. In 2021, we get a revision of the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch OLED, which did fix many of the problems with the Switch, but really the only way to fix all of them is to make a brand new console. So that's where I come in, a person who does not work for Nintendo and has no right telling them what to do. Sorry, I make YouTube videos. Of course I have the right to tell them what to do. I plan on creating a concept slash wishlist of what I want the next Nintendo console to be while still sticking to a realistic standard for how things should be. For example, while it would be great for the next Nintendo console to be as powerful as a PlayStation 5, Nintendo would never do that because it would simply cost too much money. However, of course this is my own wishes, so at points it may sound like a Nintendo fan's wet dream. But without further ado, I present to you my concept for the next Nintendo console. Why do I speak like that? So one of the smaller debates going on is whether the next Nintendo console will be a handheld console hybrid or a stationary console. Personally, I'm of the belief that the Switch idea is too good to give up, so I think they should expand on this idea. I think if they focused on a stationary console, we could have great graphics as we see in the PlayStation 5 and Series X, but I don't see them doing that. So yes, my proposal for the next Nintendo Switch will be another handheld console hybrid. I mean, it is the next Nintendo Switch, so what did you expect? But like I said in the intro, for being such a novel concept, the Switch still has many problems. Many? Well, are you gonna tuck me in? The first issue with the Nintendo Switch I think should be addressed is the Joy-Cons. I hate these. The Joy-Cons are made to be used in multiple different playstyles. They both can be used at once and work with just about any game. But also for multiplayer, you can play with a set of Joy-Cons on their side and play that way. But they can also be used on the console itself to play in handheld mode. These things are truly the most versatile controller ever made, and you might think I would love these. I hate these. I hate playing with Joy-Cons outside of handheld mode. Once you take them off, they do not fit well in your hand, and with someone with relatively large hands like me, it's an open invitation for cramps. However, they get their job done and they're far from unusable, so I guess that's all that matters. Well, I wanted them to hug me goodnight. But if you're gonna make a brand new Switch, I think some of these issues need to be addressed. First, they need to be slightly larger and have something to grip onto. This will help people with larger hands be able to use these without cramps and just look better anyway. Next, we need to fix the sticks. Oh my god. I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but I hate the sticks and the Joy-Cons and they just feel so wrong sometimes, so fix that. That's about all I have to say for the Joy-Cons, and before anyone asks, Yes, Joy-Con drift needs to be addressed. Now shut up. What I want to cover next is the look and design of this console. I don't think we need to change the design of the Nintendo Switch. That's something that works fine and I don't think anybody is arguing. But when I updated the Nintendo Switch OLED, I realized how much I love the extra screen real estate and I think that's something to be slightly expanded. Not anything major, just maybe an extra inch of screen real estate. It might not sound like much, but it really helps, especially with multiplayer and portability. For the logo of the console, I think it would be really cool to have a contrasting color scheme with the first Nintendo Switch. So I think we should make the bright red into a blue raspberry color because I think that would look nice. And also update the Joy-Cons to look like the new remodel designs. I'm not going to draw it because I don't even have an idea of what it's going to look like, but I'm sure you can envision it, make your own little thing in your head, and if you can't do that, I apologize. I think we should definitely keep the upgrades that the OLED added, like an OLED screen and the better kickstand. But these aren't really the huge problems people wanted upgraded. What most people wanted was an upgrade in the hardware. It's no secret that the Nintendo Switch is lacking in, uh running things well. I see people bring up that it can't even run its own games. That's not true, but there are some very noticeable third-party games which don't run very well on the Switch. One of the biggest examples being Sonic Frontiers, that game was severely downgraded to work on the Switch, and it still doesn't. The Nintendo Switch is only slightly more powerful than the Xbox 360, an almost 20-year-old console. So how powerful do I think the new Switch should be? Well, I don't think they should focus too much on the hardware because Nintendo clearly does not care that much. But to have something powerful enough to run most third-party games would be pretty good. Which is why I think they should strive for something about as powerful as the original PlayStation 4. Imagine what a Nintendo game could look like if they had the power to make something great. That's about all I have to say for the power itself of the console. I'm sure they'll do whatever they want and not listen to any investors, but some features I think this Nintendo Switch should have is a return of analog buttons. There's no doubt they want to get into the GameCube nostalgia and adding that would make porting games so much easier. I think it should go without saying that all Nintendo Switch games should be able to run natively along with all the accessories. I also think that all eShop content should stay available and keep carrying it over until they physically cannot anymore. This will help when the official storefronts for the old consoles shut down, and if they keep the Switch idea it shouldn't be that hard. They also need to start taking some risks. 
I would love to see them add Miis back into the menus and have some music go along with it because it's Nintendo. They have so much personality and everything, but it doesn't seem like the Nintendo Switch itself does. You may wonder what the name should be, so I came up with some ideas which I think could work well. First we have the Nintendo Switch 2, a little basic but it gets the point across. Next we have the Nintendo Switch U, I've seen worse. I kinda like the idea of them using a name like Nintendo Switch Plus or something cool like that, but I'm sure they'll do something stupid. You may say, hey, isn't there some similarities between this and the Wii U? How do you think Nintendo's gonna dodge another situation like that? Don't be stupid. Man, I don't know. 